All right, what's going on to YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about chain stay protectors and whether you still need one for your bike or not. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon on exercise checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So today we are talking about chain stay protectors, and in specific, we are talking about my Poseidon Redwood and whether this thing still needs a chain stay protector. So let's kind of step back a little bit to the early phases of mountain bike and bikes in general. Back in those days, you'd have something like three, seven gears on the back, three on the front, and you'd have to have a lot of there would be a lot of play in the chain and the derailleur which would cause a lot of chain slap and what is chain slap you might ask chain slap is when your chain is bouncing around a whole bunch you can see the front there the top is kind of bouncing around as you're bouncing on as you're bouncing over uneven terrain causes your causes your chain to hit your frame and causes noise and causes damage to your frame is what that does who wants noise and damage while you're out mountain biking or riding on some beautiful backcountry roads and backcountry trails you don't want that. So what people started to do is they started to come up with their own style of chain stay protectors, whatever that might be, inner tube, electrical tape, different fabrics, whatever that is. And then came a company called Lizard Skins here. And now Lizard Skins, I'm using these for probably 10 plus years on my bikes. And what this is, it's a neoprene bike protection here. So what this does is it Velcros around your chain stay and provides an extra layer of protection from your chain hitting onto your chain stay and causing damage, causing noise. All those kind of things you don't want when you're out there riding. Now newer bikes have that clutch on them. So if you turn that clutch on, obviously, that's gonna keep that nice and tight. And realistically, that should eliminate chain slap because your chain's not moving around as much. Your derailleur's not moving around as much. And you only have one gear on the front, so your chain's kind of far away from the chain stay. Shouldn't really be causing that kind of problem. So that's what I thought as well. Now the Superfly, I've had so many setups on that over the years for drivetrain. So I have had one of these lizard skin chain stay protectors on there for years and years and years, pretty much ever since it was brand new. And I've never had a problem with it. And it's, it's saved that frame. That's probably the nicest chain stay I've ever seen. Even today where I have the Microsoft Advent setup on there, which has a clutch derailleur on there, I still run that chain, I still run that chain stay protector on there. So on that bike, I've never really worried about my chain stay. If you take that off, it looks beautiful underneath. It looks beautiful underneath there. No damage to the chain stay at all. So going from the Superfly, having that on there all the time with the clutch derailleur, not having to worry about it at all. So coming into the Poseidon Redwood, it was, hey, that clutch derailleur is supposed to solve that problem. It's supposed to get rid of chain slap, make my chain stay last a long time, and I'll be good. It'll look great, like brand new. Well, the first couple rides I took it on, I noticed witness marks. I noticed spots all along right here where the chain had contacted into the chain stay which to me is kind of upsetting. If you've ever seen a white bike, underneath that, you will start to see black if that comes off. So I did not want that to happen to this bike. White is like the worst thing, the hardest thing to cover up, especially when you have a matte white bike. It's very hard to match that or even cover up. It's very hard to cover that up if you have a chip in the frame or a chip in the paint. It's very difficult to cover up. Now obviously the vast majority of bikes come with some sort of clear film right over the chain stay area. And that's to, that's to somewhat prevent damage happening to your chain stay from the chain. Does that work? It works to a certain extent. At a certain point, your chain is going to wear through that ever hitting that same spot multiple times. But for minor stuff, that's going to take care of that. But noticing those witness marks and knowing that I want to take this bike on trails and I want to take this bike on adventures where that chain could be hit more than just a couple times. I went, well, I need to fix this. I need to find a solution to the solving this. So I, of course, went back to the good guys at Lizard Skins. Now, Lizard Skins, this guy here, the neoprene bike protection made in the USA in California, kind of hard to beat that. I mean, they're based out of California. I'm in, Nevada, I'm in Reno, Nevada, so yeah, close by. Kind of kind of support local businesses, and these guys make a solid product. So with these chain stay protectors, now they come in three different sizes. So obviously, not every bike has the same size chain stay. If you have a full suspension, it's gonna be larger most of the time just because of the linkage. If you have a hardtail or a road bike, gravel bike, that could be smaller. In my case, I go for the small size. So. Sizes here if you need to figure out what size. So size is all based on the circumference of your chain stay. So for small, 70 to 100 millimeters, medium, 100 to 125 millimeters, and then large, 125 to 140. Should kind of cover all the ones out there. In my case, we need a small, should fit this bike, no problem. That's what I've been running on a Superfly and the chain stays are roughly about the same. So you get your package and you get this fancy little guy. So it's this nice neoprene, super easy to wash, comes out clean all the time, gets super dirty, you can pull it off and clean it that way. I've never had a problem with them. They stay really, really clean. And again, I've had mine for 10 plus years on the Superfly and it's been great. So you get them here, 
got to undo it here. Of course, it's stapled at the top, so we just got to pop that staple out, and we can pull it out of our packaging there. So the nice thing about these is on the back, this is a shark, they call this a shark skin texture. So it's actually a textured back on here, kind of a little bit of a rubber feeling, but that keeps it from turning and spinning and moving, keeps it in place. So if you get like one of the super cheap ones out there, like three bucks on eBay, just gonna be a piece of fabric with the Velcro on there. It's gonna spin, it's not gonna look as great. It's not gonna stay in place. These guys, shark skin texture, works really good, keeps it in place, keeps it looking good. Of course, they got the lizard skin logo on there and they come in black, red, and blue. So you got kind of options to match with your bike. Of course, I go, of course I got white, so blacks. Blacks is kind of the simplest way to go. And, I, my, and it's the one I've always run. I've always run a black one. So very simple to put on. It kind of tapers down near the back, which is kind of what you'd want for a chain stay protector. And you just have Velcro on each side. It's pretty much where it's gonna wrap it around and just Velcro that right on. And we'll see what kind of mid difference it makes. So let's move a little closer. Let's get this guy installed. Okay, so first thing you gotta do before you install, make sure your chain stays clean underneath. Just make sure it's all cleaned up. You don't want dirt and water and mud and yuck underneath that thing. Make sure it's all clean. If you did use water, make sure it dries up before you stick this guy on. Next thing you're gonna do is kind of line it up with where you wanna go. So for me, we're pretty much gonna cover both of these cable stops right there, which is, which is fine. It's fine, but it's gonna, gonna go, it's gonna end up going just like that. And then they make it nice easy with the logo, the lizard skin, it's gonna be facing up all the time. That's the way it's gonna need to go to make it work. So from there, we're gonna stick this guy underneath. And I want this kind of as close to or bend right here as we can get it. That's gonna make sure we get the optimal coverage on our chain stay protector. So, I'm gonna kinda of stick it like that. I'm gonna fold our Velcro over, and we're going to just kind of attach it as we go down. And then from there, this for old one, we could spin it. I'm just gotta stick that guy kind of back Velcro where it needs to go, make sure it's out of our way of our chain. And just like that, I think we can slide it forward a little bit if we want to. And there we go, we got our lizard skin chain stay protector nice and on there. So obviously this is gonna keep our chain from actually causing any damage. You can see now, so not only does it keep it quiet, it's not gonna cause any damage to our frame, even if it's a little greasy like it is right now. It's not gonna put grease on the frame. So it keeps it nice and clean. And on a white frame, that's pretty important. So that's a simple install, super easy. And like I said, you can take this off whenever you wanted to. They've actually made them quite a bit longer than they used to be. My other one's really short. My other one's only probably from here to here. So they made them longer for newer bikes that are longer than what they used to be. So there's our chain stay protector, all installed, ready to take a beating, is <laughs> one way to put it. And looking back at that, I like it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty sick. Looks pretty good with the black. Gives a little bit of black to the back. So let's answer the question we asked at the beginning. Do you still need a chain stay protector on your bike? Is it something you still need even with a modern clutch derailleur? And I would say the answer is yes. You're still gonna run into problems where your chain's gonna hit your frame. And most people nowadays are spending as much, you know, you're spending a whole bunch of money on a bike, thousand dollars plus, you want your bike to stay in good shape, right? That's what I want to keep with this bike. I want it to be in good shape for a long time so I can continue to ride it. And you know, when I look at it, it still looks like a really nice bike and I still want to keep riding it and take good care of it. So for me, it's going to be something I always put on a bike when I take it off road. Now like a road bike or something that's really never going to see like dirt roads or off road or mountain biking. I'm not really going to worry about it that much. In my opinion, those are going to be perfectly fine. I'm not really having an issue with those. My road bike, even through the many miles I put on that, has like no issues with the chain stay on it. However, mountain bikes, gravel bikes, anything that's gonna hit any kind of off-road, I throw one of these on there just to protect that, make it quieter, and not have to worry about it at all and keep my bike looking nice. Now, if you guys are interested in checking out some of Lizard Skin's protection for your bike, including this awesome chain stay protector, I have a link in the description down below. I paid for this with my own money. It's something I like to put on all my bikes, so I picked it up, only like about 10 bucks, and it makes a great improvement to your bike, makes a little cool little touch on the back on the rear triangle as well. If you guys are interested, again, link in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.